Hey everybody, welcome back to Creekside Maples. We're inside the tent. The lighting is a bit poor and it's pouring down mm -hmm. rain. <laughs> but we are so excited. We've got another mail call. We do, since we got our USPO box, we are so thrilled uh, to be able to go across the lines and pick up these wonderful care packages. I think the post office thinks that uh, we're hoarding things for Santa or something, <laughs> not sure. But we went over to our post office box and there were another six boxes of stuff there. Mm -hmm. So we are so excited yes. about everything that is coming. I mean, it's just, we can't say thank you enough. And mm -hmm. it's all stuff that, that really plays just a, intricate mm -hmm. part of everything we're doing here yes but let's get into this stuff what do you got what, what did you get first off well we had put this in our amazon wish list and some very dear dear friends and subscribers david and sandy gibson from oregon sent this to us it is an eco fan that sits on our wood stove which is right over here and it helps circulate the air so it says that you actually uh you're going to burn 18 percent less wood so i hope <laughs> that would be for sure uh, wonderful so we appreciate that david and sandy so much we love you guys and you are just awesome awesome people they truly do support our channel and everything we do they every do. single week and in a tent one of the biggest things you have to contend with is um, condensation mm -hmm. air circulation um, heat dispersion and coming into cold weather uh, winter time it really is a challenge. So this fan is, is it couldn't have arrived at a better time. Perfect timing. And this will circulate the air better. Um, it'll keep a lot of the condensation, you know, down, you know, so that it'll be manageable mm -hmm. and things like that. So thank you so much, David thank Sandy. Thank you, David we appreciate Sandy. It. You guys are awesome. And now the... You want to sit um, down? Yeah, we'll sit down on the bed. Forgive us for being so... Uh, I guess just relaxed in this one. Well, this um, is our home. It is, and, <laughs> and this is where uh, this is where we live. It's our tent. Many of you have wanted to know more about the inside of the tent, so. So here you have it. This have is it. this is where we sleep right here. It's a queen size bed. It's quite comfortable because you need a good night's sleep. So we um, went and picked up these boxes, and there is uh, some more boxes there from none other than you know who. You guessed it. Jesse and Lisa, yes. Lazy Days Ahead. Yes, um, and you all know them as very sweet and giving people. For sure. I appreciate all the folks that we have on our channel and I our sure community that support us like this. It really and makes it, a big difference. And it difference. is exactly that. It is community. It is. We've never felt more loved. Ever. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> now. So we're just going to delve in here and, and show you some yeah. of the things they sent us. This here's one so of the, neat. It is. One of the things we're really excited about is this. It's an organizer for batteries rather than, you know how you get your batteries and you just throw them in a drawer and they roll all over the place and everything. Well, this here is actually, uh, it's a container that um, will hold all the different size batteries. It holds the, the D cell, the C cell, the, the AA, the AAA, the 9 volt. But it also has a battery tester right in the center of it so that, you know, you know, it uh, shows you how much battery life you got. So that's pretty cool. We thought that was awesome. Awesome. But not only did they send us the battery organizer, mm -hmm. but they sent us this great big pile of batteries as well. Duracells. Here on the off-grid, one of the things we're always going through are batteries. Mm -hmm. uh, if you ever wonder, what can we send the Stoddards? If you've got no other ideas, send us batteries. It's right here. Um, triple A's for sure and double A's for sure. Yes. Because we use a lot of them. So thank, thank you it. so much for that. What do you got here? I have some Lazy Days merch. <laughs> and they have a store. You Feel free to check it out. So they sent us bracelets. Yep. And. But they're not just bracelets. No. They are grips. Yeah. For your cup. Cup grip. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do because my wrist is really allergic to a lot of uh, stuff. 
So I put them on my cups just like this. And it makes it so you can really pick your cup up with a good grip on it. Right there. There we go. There's two. So that's what I do. And we have two lazy days ahead keychains. Key fobs. Key fobs. Yep. Key fob. And they are so. They are. Very well made. Very, very well made. These are. I'll see if I can get one up here close. But that there. Very nice key fob. Um, and it. It, it just it's just really nice stuff it truly is so we got that there's that key fob part of it there what do you got here well again lisa and jesse notice every detail and they don't just send things that we perhaps maybe don't need or couldn't use but they are very purposeful in their choosing very so, much so since we are off grid and we are basically glamping and we have our outdoor kitchen, which check that video yep. out, by the way. Oh, I have a tiny, uh, a smaller Coleman camping oven that I can cook in, but it is smaller. So it will not take a lot of your full size pans, but it will take this. So that was very, very kind. Cool. Um, I guess they thought maybe I needed to bake some mini muffins for Tony. Does that mean I'm going to get some mini muffins? Well, you just might. Does that mean that if they're mini muffins, I have to eat more to You'd, get one you would probably have to eat all regular of size muffin? Yep. Ah, ah. That's See right. what I mean? So thank you, guys. Yes. And Jesse knows that I'm a hunter, and so um, he sent me a really nice, it's a boar cleaning rope. And I really like the boar cleaning ropes as opposed to the metal um, rods simply because they don't scratch the inside of your gun, the barrel, the bore, or anything. So thank you for that. And always be safe hunting in the woods. So he sent me a nice uh, blaze orange vest mm -hmm. because we don't want to run into any problems in the woods. And, and continuing with the hunting theme. Yes. <laughs> and then he sent me this. It's a... I don't know if you'd call it a fanny pack or not. It's quite a pack. It's got all these different uh, pockets in it, cell phone holder, different things that you can have, different pockets for different things. It's got an ammo um, clip right here mm -hmm. uh, with a cover on it so you can put that there. You don't lose your ammo. And what is the brand um, of it? Oh, it's... You recognize the yeah, brand. Yeah, it's Field Line. Field Line. But what I really like is this water bottle. But this is a very special water bottle because inside this water bottle, would you believe it's filled with candy, chocolate. <laughs> Which if you've been with us any amount of time, you know Tony loves his chocolate. The darker, the better. Gotta have me some chocolate. I'm gonna grab this item right here. You want to grab the item now they sent us this beautiful enamel antique kettle and we just absolutely love this uh, again it'll it sits on our wood stove and we fill this up at night with water and then in the morning we have hot hot water for cooking or whatever we may need yep. it for so this is just beautiful and we absolutely Ding! love it <laughs> We absolutely love this. All kinds of stuff. And, let me see. Food department. Yes, the food department. My favorite department. <laughs> All right, where do we start? So, as you know, down in Texas, they have Bucky's. And I think they may have them a few other places. We call them Bucky's. Joni calls them Bucy's. These are bold and spicy. Now, let me tell you something. These are not for the weak hearted or the fainted heart. These things are hot. Yes. But they're addictively hot. They are. Kind of awesome. like my wife. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> my goodness. Now, Lisa says these are her favorite flavor. Mm -hmm. And they, very, very mm -hmm. good choice, Lisa. Um, it's just a nice um, spicy cheese. Yep. But I'll tell you, they're hot. 
Yes. Let me see if I got anything to drink in here. Woohoo! So, not so hot, but just still as sweet is the cinnamon sweet uh, beaver nuggets. As you can see, we've not mm. opened these and tried them yet. Should we do it on video? Mm. Want to try it? We'll, we'll give it a try, Jesse and Lisa. These things are so hot, but they're addictive. <laughs> oh, we got some water coming in. Yeah. Anyway, the show must go on. Mm-hmm. Oh. My tent's had a few leaks. Oh, they're telling so, these are so good. Black East Bold and Spicy, get you some! Mmm! Try one of them. All right, what do we got here? Cinnamon. Beaver nuggets, cinnamon mm. sweet. All right, here we go. Those are excellent. Let's see. Mm. I like them. Just like a cinnamon mm. cookie. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know what I mean right there. Mm -mm. And we mm. eat a lot of cinnamon. I make Tony old-fashioned oatmeal mm. for breakfast and I put cinnamon in it. Or I'll make him cream of wheat and put cinnamon in it. Tell us if you guys Beaver nuggets. Uh, if you guys like or have had any of these products before. Now we have to confess, there was a, another bag that did not make it here into the video. Well, <laughs> we can either confirm nor deny that someone may or may not have eaten them. Yeah, uh, it's about a 45 minute drive from the post office to here. So that bag is in the truck and it's been enjoyed. Very Not much. Not a so. whole lot left in it. <laughs> and another bag of Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. These things are awesome. If you never had these, you need to get you some. Jesse and Lisa know us too well, I think. And oh my, these. Now, these are chocolate almonds, dark chocolate, coconut with dark chocolate. Now, Joni doesn't like these. Right, so he tells me. However, I do. And Joni does too. Mm. Let me tell you, they are they're so good. So good. Mm. If Tony can quit eating them, I'm thinking about mm. maybe chopping up about a half cup of them and putting them in some cookies. Mm, 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 mm. So thank you, Jesse and Lisa. So they have a local um, kind of a farm that they visit and they send us candy from there. These are gummy watermelon slices. As you can see, we have eaten half the bag. <laughs> they are so good. Very, very, very good. You'll never eat just one of these? No. They're that good. So if you ever see these anywhere, we highly recommend. Maybe other companies make them too. What else we got in here? Well, I think we, let's finish the Ooh. candy. Well, that's what I've been saying. <laughs> yeah, and he has been too. This is for you. Now this bottle actually has TS right there. You can't see it, but it does have it. But beyond that, it's got chocolate in it. Yes. So they sent us that. I'm, I'm beginning to wonder. I think they got it figured out that you really like chocolate. Oh yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's me that really likes chocolate. Hmm. I think they've got it figured out. Yeah. And that's okay. the second TS bottle that they've sent you. Yes. So TS. That's what I drink my chocolate milk out of. Now. They sent us. <laughs> the biggest gift we have ever received. Look at this, everybody. Tabasco. <laughs> Aren't they just the cutest little bottles of Tabasco sauce? They're too cute to use, I'll tell you that. So, we'll, uh, we will use them for we sure. Will. All right. More candy. Oh, what's this? This is candy corn. These are corn nuts, and these are from the same farm. They, they got us three different bags from the local little farm that they like to uh, support. Yep, and this is really good. Corn I tried nuts. it. I got to admit are it. very good. These are French burnt peanuts. Really, really good. Love those. They're tasty. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's all of the snacks. Um, where's the bag of pistachios? That was last video. That's right too. That came on the <laughs> other load. But so. still in the food department. Yes. We have. There you go. 
as you all know, our dear Miss Lisa. She is a canning queen. And she she is the canning queen. Seventeen, she can can real mean. She can can, she can jam. You need to try all her stuff. <laughs> Don't stop now. <laughs> Bread and butter pickles, which we love. So a nice big jar of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lisa. She For sure, everything. she does. And we've got, let me see. I thought there was two jars of pineapple. I believe there was, right, Lisa? So where's the other jar? A mouse got into um, it. I'll tell you, I don't, we have really talented mice up here that can Pop flip the these lids. lids off. Yep, we do. Well, again, I can neither confirm nor deny that there was a second bottle of pineapple that may or may not have been eaten for breakfast this morning by yours truly. <laughs> so Lisa informed that two jars, one for him, one for me, so. I never heard that. You didn't? No. I think Lisa's got a comment and let us so, know. So <laughs> anyhow, this pineapple, Lisa does, did this up. I want you to know it's the best pineapple I've ever eaten. It is. Yep. It's, it's, look, I could eat, if she sent me 50 bottles of this, hint, 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 <laughs> I would eat a bottle a day, I'm pretty well, sure. Do your little infomercial that you... you no, uh, that's on Instagram. They have to watch it there. Oh, okay. There's, there's a plug for our Instagram account. We've got some salsa. I hey. love salsa. Salsa. <laughs> so there's fresh Homemade. salsa from Lisa, and Homemade. I will be eating this on my eggs. Yep. Thank you, Lisa. And we've got papaya mango jam. Oh, it's going to be so good. I love it. It looks so great. The chunks of fruit in there. I can't wait to eat all of that or some of that or try it. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, mango habanero jam. We've got strawberry jam. And I must admit that we did pop the lid on this last night and did try <laughs> a little taste of it and it was so we good. Did. We did. And we have strawberry pineapple jam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More mango habanero. I'm going to uh, really love this. Yes. And something I have never had that I'm anxious to try is lime. Yes. Lime jelly. Yes. Thank you, Lisa. So, looking forward to all of this stuff. And again, for sure. this is the second batch of her preserving she has sent. Yes. Check out our video uh, two videos ago. See, if you if you know our story and what's happened, we if you go back and watch our videos, you'll see the explanation of how we had why we had to move, how we lost our homestead and all of it. And why we're living and in a tent. And why we're living in a tent. <gasps> but what happened was because we have spent all summer moving, we could not plant a garden. We couldn't put our food up in the pantry. Um, we couldn't raise our chickens, our hogs, none of our meat or anything. So we find ourselves, for the first time in a long time, not having stores of food ready for this winter. And so, thankfully, Jesse and Lisa and other folks recognize our need mm -hmm. for this stuff. And that's why they're sending this, because they yes. understand that we just haven't been able to, to put up all of the food that we normally do. That's it. And so it means so much to us that they see beyond just the scope of, of videos and YouTube and, and, you know, subs and content. And they become so close to us. Um, you know, many of you have that you understand there's a great need. And you guys are really stepping up. Yes, you are. You have our backs, and we really appreciate that so yes. much. We really do. So. All so right. What else? What else? They sent us each a nice uh, assortment of clothing. And we cannot tell you how much this means. I mean, you need food to live, obviously. But they've also noticed that... Um, <laughs> Well, Tony especially, especially is very hard on his clothes, and you see him working in the videos. And um, so Jesse and Lisa were so kind to send us things. So this is from Lisa's home state of Oregon, and I'm going to love wearing this. Thank you, thank you, Lisa. You go ahead. Oh, you go you want yours. me to do all of mine? Oh, yes. 
Another, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> another nice t-shirt. And I love this, so comfy. And I love the color too. Lisa notices all those details. Another nice t-shirt. And I told her I love the V-neck shirts especially. And that's what she sent me. Beautiful. Another nice shirt. This is a soft velour V-neck. Oh my velour. Oh my velour. <laughs> <laughs> and as you all know, representing their home state of Texas, uh -huh. they thought this couple of Canadians needed a little more um, Texas representing, love. Representing, representing. Yeah. So I really love this, especially. Thank especially. you. Especially. We've actually been to Texas many times and, and uh, we love it there. Now, I love plaid. So Lisa sent me my own nice plaid zip up shirt. I really like this. Thank you, Lisa and Jesse. <laughs> and last but not least, this black hoodie. And I wore this the other day. But I didn't get it dirty, Lisa, so I could still show it in the video. This is so comfy. And um, so thank you so much. All right. So what did I get? This lovely shirt that I wore for Creekside Chronicles this morning. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. I'm not going to unfold them because they're too nicely folded. And another, I love this shirt here. I love the design on it. Um, all these shirts are really, really good quality shirts. And so I'm going to look really smart on Chronicles and when I'm working. <laughs> yes. Another one here. They know the size I need to go around these shoulders. And they always get it right. So, And all this stuff is really good quality stuff. So I appreciate them. All these things. Here's one of my favorites. I love the print on this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's such great material. It's heavyweight cotton. And so... You know, things like this mean so much to us because, honestly, I've gone through, since we started the house build, digging every all the holes for the foundations and everything, I've gone through every pair of pants, every pair of jeans, <laughs> um, shirts, you name it. I've worn them out, tore them out, and they're destroyed from running cement and all of it. So it's always nice to restock. I really like this shirt here. It's, uh, it's like a breathable material. Um, that they'll wear like playing golf or anything like that but for me because I, I mind the heat so bad so these shirts really come in handy for me um, for working now I love good t-shirts but they gotta have a pocket there's nothing like a good pocket tee so they picked me up some of these really nice t-shirts this is by Goodfellow this one is um, really heavyweight cotton and they really are warm and they last a long time. Um, this one here, this is my Texas tea. Mm -hmm. San Antonio. <laughs> What's my name? Tony. Yeah. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for that. Um, a Magellan long sleeve. Um, shirt to work in just so many nice quality clothes here um, and they let me know that i i can no longer have any excuse for looking ratty on camera that's right i have to look good another work tee here with the pocket gotta have the pocket tees and this is a carhartt pocket tee really heavy quality so thank you for that and a pair of jeans from bass pro 36 by 30. They nailed it. They nailed they it. They work great. They really do. And I'm also... I'm wearing, ready for this? Brace yourself. Another Carhartt t-shirt that they got me. But I'm wearing this one today. And one thing I noticed immediately as I was folding all these for the video, Lisa knows that I love Tony wearing the color blue because it blue accentuates his eyes. What's so that what word? Accentuate. Big word. Big word. Wow. I manage. Accentuate. Accentuate. Ooh. So look what she does. She sends all blue. 
for Tony. Almost. Almost. So. What can they say? Again, she goes that extra mile. She, well, she's walked a lot of miles. She's still out wow. running. <laughs> she's still out running those now, extra miles. Now, there is another box they did send us that we do not have here in the video. What about those two boxes back there? They're, they're, empty. they're empty. Oh, that's This is all stuff. the okay. stuff, yes. And? Do you want to say what it was? Well, it was a huge box of bathroom tissue. Yes. And on that note, we'll call that a wipe. <laughs> <laughs> but again, these, I mean, just essentials. Yeah. They're just not out mindlessly spending money. No. Um, which nobody these days have, has the money for. Uh, everything has it's put thought and purpose. Yeah. They and put a lot of thought into it. We certainly appreciate it. Um, all the goodies, all the batteries, all the clothes, everything. And the fan that we started the video out with, with yeah. from David and Sandy. Yeah, I was just going to say that. David and Sandy, that fan, it will never be shut off all winter. Yes. And we are so thankful and so grateful mm -hmm. for, for so grateful. all that you do as well. Um, we have some really wonderful folks that really take the time mm -hmm. to support us. And we want you to know we do not take it lightly. Um, we, Not at we all. don't. It, it really, really does speak to us. It really does mean so much to us. I wish there was a greater way that we could say thank you to everybody that helps out, to everyone that is so kind to us. Um, someday, hopefully, we'll be in a position, you know, where we can start, you know, reciprocating a lot of this stuff and mm -hmm. and doing the same thing. But for now, because of the I guess just the life has happened the situation that we find ourselves in yes and played out in um, this way for us but we we are thankful for all of you that support our channel yes and, and new supporters every new day supporters every so, day thank on that you note, thank you so much thank you uh dave and sandy thank you jesse and lisa thank you everybody, everybody. that gives and supports us and we'll see you back here on Creekside Maples. If you don't mind, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, would you please do that and share this out. Share this video out with all your friends because it's just nice to see a video that makes you smile, that reminds us there's some really good people out there in the world yet. That's right. And we just so happen to know a lot of them right we here do. in our, ch our channel and our community. We do. They're Thanks part again. Of our community. Please leave us a comment. Tell us what you think of um, this video and uh, come yep. back again. Yep. We'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.